GSAP. It's a freaking animation library. Arguably one of the most powerful ones in web development and it's been around for 20 years. I am vomit free since 93. Key concepts for building this kind of badass animations are easier than you think. We got twins, plugins and timelines. Twins are just the process of transitioning. With creating a twin, we tell GSAP what to do with the element. Timelines define and control the order of animations. You can think of a timeline as a container that groups the animations together and manages their timing. I just found out that GSAP is now 100% free. Let's not talk too much and create this orbital shit with ReactJS and GSAP. We orbit the SVGs and these are things I'm gonna say until the animation is finished. After creating a vid project, open app.tsx. Just when you're done deleting all the defaults, import GSAP and some other stuff. Then in the assets folder, we add our SVGs for these moving shits. We import them and then we register motion path plugin to be able to use it. That, that's, that's just the thing that I was saying. Now in the app function, let's put them in an array to use them in just a minute. God. Then define a use effect and add a path for the animation using SVG paths. You can easily create one using some visual tools such as this one. Back to the code, return the raw elements that have this class name in form of a list or array. Set function defines the initial state for the animations. This will be applied to all elements using this class. For each element, change the opacity and then add a delay based on the index of each element to ensure they animate in order. Then we animate the elements using motion path and that SVG path. That, that's, that's just that Finally, we implement our container and headers. Then we show the images using that array that we defined earlier. After adding CSS classes, this is what we achieve. Then we add a font and a background. You would think we are done, but we don't have any cleanup whatsoever. A cool thing that has been added to GSAP is use GSAP hook that handles the cleanups for you. We can also pass dependencies and define references as a scopes. To avoid flicking the fuck out before the fonts are loaded, we use this package to hide the UI until, well, the fonts are loaded. It. Looks like green socks doesn't suck after all. As always, live demo and GitHub are in the description. Thanks for watching and have a good day.